Today I'm showing you how you can make custom splash texts for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Anyways, it's actually not that hard, so let's get right in. Now, I'm making it really easy for you guys. You can download this splash text sample pack down in the description below and this is gonna basically reduce all the work for you guys and also reduce work for me because that way I won't have to correct all your mistakes because trust me mistakes might happen <laughs> anyways um, so you'll have downloaded this from in the description and what you want to do is right click on that and then select the extract all option right here and then click on extract again now, defend now depending on your device or your operating system um, you might not actually have had that extract all option and if that is not the case they only need a third party program probably either 7-zip or WinRAR to do that for you Anyways, once you have, uh, once you are in this situation where you have extracted it and also have a regular file folder, then you can just delete the zip folder because you won't need that anymore. Anyways, here we are. This is the custom splash text sample pack, as you can see. And in here we have two different files. One is called manifest.json and the other is called splashes.json, right? Um, and we're going to edit both of these and that's going to allow us to make our pack. So we'll start with the bottom one over here, splashes.json. And I can just open it up by double clicking on it. However, it might be a little bit harder for you. So in theory, you can open this with any text editor. It might not work the same way with all of them, but basically to open it up, if it doesn't work by double clicking, right click, go to open with, and then select any text editor you want. I'm just going to use Notepad++ because it's nice and simple. Anyways, you should see something like this. Um, Notepad++ is free, by the way, so maybe if you're having difficulties or something like that, then uh, use this, and it'll look the exact same as it looks for me over here. Anyways, basically, um, I'll quickly explain how this works. Here we have a thing that says splashes, and everything listed over here is a splash text. So there's going to be two standard ones, this one and this one. You know, feel free to literally remove those, but watch the format. Please keep in mind that this is code, and if you make the slightest of a mistake, it's actually not going to work. Say, for example, I accidentally remove this comma. Then the entire file is going to be unreadable, and it's not at all going to work. So, massive fail right there, right? Um, so, basically, try to touch as little as possible. Alright, so to create custom splash text in this file, basically, remove everything between these quotation marks and type in your own. Maybe it's something like custom splash text. There we go. Um, and then basically you can continue like that. So I can hit enter here if I want to create a new one, then open quotation marks, then type in um, maybe your uh, splash text idea, if you can actually type better than me which I hope you can. Anyways, here, um, another splash text right there. Then you want to close the quotation marks, make sure these are double quotation marks, and then comma. Perfect, so we can do that again. So um, here's splash text idea. There we go. Open quotation marks, type the splash text, close quotation marks, and comma. Now you'll notice that in this last one over here, there's no comma at the end, and that is actually deliberate. It is very important that only at the very last one, there is no comma. Yeah, um, and if it's like that, then you are absolutely good. And you can basically add, I believe, unlimited of these. Um, you can just go on as much as you want. You know, hit enter, open quotation marks, um, what do I type here? That's a good one. And then close quotation marks and add a comma, right? Just make sure there's no comma at the last one. Once again, otherwise it won't work. Feel f do feel free though to just um, replace this one. There we go. Very nice. Um, and basically, once you've been done, when, once you're done typing up your splash text, you can save the file. Anyways, all these splash texts will have the same chance of occurring in Minecraft. And say you like one of them a lot. I really like this one that says custom splash texts. So, not like that. 
I'm going to enter and paste it in a couple of times and this way it's going to have a lot higher chance of happening than these other ones right I hope that makes sense um, anyways basically once you've done with your file hit control s to save it or go over to file and save it from there now you can always come back and edit this and then repeat the steps I'm about to show you um, to import the pack anyways you know once you're done you're good you can close the file there we are. Now we do actually have another file still called manifest.json. So we can open that up in the same ways, you know, because it's um, basically that, right? And we'll see a few things here. Now there are a few things that we can change and there's a few things we need to change. So going from top to bottom, there's a thing called name over here. In between these two, two quotation marks, it's going to say test. But do we want the name of our pack to be test? Probably not. So we can call this maybe it's V64's custom splashes. There we are. Very nice. Once again, remembering to make sure to keep this in between the quotation marks. And once again, if you, for example, accidentally delete a comma, it's not going to work. Massive drama. Right? Anyways, basically, that's just going to tell Minecraft what the name of your pack is. And then same thing down here. So for the description, this is also currently test. Maybe, um, we want to change the description so these are custom splashes added by it's me 64 I totally wrote that correctly um, anyways basically you get the idea you can write a custom description for your pack in there fantastic now those were two things that you can change I mean it's not obligatory but now here is something that you have to change the UUID UUIDs are universally unique identifiers and basically they're going to tell Minecraft hey this is a custom pack and it's different from Minecraft's default textures so treat it differently right anyways you want to go and to this online UUID generator which is going to be linked in the description you're just going to get a random one generated right here and then you want to click on copy then you want to go back to your file over here and replace everything in between these two quotation marks right there. Very nice. Now you'll see that there is a second UUID. So we can go over to the site again, refresh the page, and we'll get another one. Great. And then we can paste that second UUID in between these two quotation marks, making sure to replace everything of the other UUID and now it is very important that you need to make sure that these two are not the same right you know if you just refresh the page they aren't going to be that the same I can promise you that but don't use the same one for both of these because then your packs literally not going to work anyways once you're done you can just hit Control s right there and you're done with both of these files, which means you're done, right? Well, in theory, yes, but there is actually a third optional step, and that is to add a pack icon. So I've got my pack icon over here, my beautiful, beautiful channel logo. But there's a few things that we need to change about this, right? So first off, I'll open it up with any basic image editor. Um, Paint 3D is perfectly fine, and then I want to make sure that this image is in fact square. If it's not square, it's either going to get cut or stretched, and you probably don't want that. So make sure that your icon is indeed square, and then as you can see under type over here, it said that this is a JPG file. Now Minecraft is racist, and they don't like JPG files, so we're going to need to change that. You want to make sure that you can see this .jpg on the end over there. Or for in your case, it might be something like um, jpeg, maybe png. Um, either way, you want to make sure that you can see that. To be able to see it, you want to go over to View, Show, and make sure that file name extensions is ticked. Now, depending on your operating system, it the, the UI might not look exactly like this. But either way, you want to make sure that you can see file name extensions. Then you want to go ahead and rename your file, then remove the JPG from the end, and replace it with PNG, just like that. You'll get this pop-up, and you can just click on yes, because it's perfectly fine. And now, either way, you just want to make sure that your file is a PNG. If it was a PNG to start off with, then you don't need to change anything. And if it wasn't, then make sure that under type over here, it says PNG file. 
perfect. That is exactly how we want it to be. Now Minecraft is going to be happy. Great, so now we can work on importing the pack. So what you want to do is go over to the folder in which all three of those files are. So as you can see inside of this folder, we have all three of those files. So this is the folder I want to go ahead and have a staring competition with, right? So right click on that and then select compress to zip file. Now this might actually deja vu you back to the beginning of this video where we did something similar, right? So once again, you might need a third party program to be able to do this. Either way, you wanna make sure that it's compressed to a zip file. So we can click on that and now there we go. Custom splash text sample pack. What a terrible name. Who came up with that? This is obviously It's Me64's custom splashes. There we are. You can change the name of this pack to anything you want. Um, as you can see, I changed it right there. Great. But now we actually need to change the name again. You see this dot zip on the end? Well, you will if you just enabled file name extensions for the um, for, 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 for the pack icon, right? Um, so cool thing you actually need that again so once again go ahead and rename your um your zip file and then remove the dot zip from the end right there then you want to make sure that you replace it with mc pack that is dot m c p a c k make sure that it is after the dot and that you replace the dot zip once you've done that you will get this little pop up click on yes and now under type it's going to say MC pack. Perfect. So if you actually watched, then you'll have seen that this icon has changed to the Minecraft icon. Incredibly cool. What this means is that we can double click on this pack and it's automatically going to import itself into Minecraft. So now once Minecraft is loaded up, you can go into settings, scroll down a little bit, and then go over to global resources, my packs, and here as you can see, it's me 64 is custom splashes. Perfect. You can click on that and then click on activate. And now as you can see under the active tab, we have it's me 64 is custom splashes. Amazing. So now basically once we go out of the settings, it's going to load and as you can see, we have one of the custom splashes that I put, which was replace. Definitely a very original and contextful one. It does prove what I'm trying to get at here. Anyways, there we go. That is a little more like it. Anyways, for right now, that was that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.